Hey guys, Zinni Lee here. So, who remembers the clinger? Oh my gosh. So, dude totally asked me for $500 and had to tell him about himself. Why? Why? Did I get a text message the other day? And it's like, hi, Denny. And I was just like, oh, I don't know who this is. Okay. Hi. How are you, Denny? Who are you? Like, who is this? And he tells me who he is, and he's like, oh, it's Klinger, which is obviously not what he said because he said his name, but whatever. And I'm just like, this mofo got a new phone and thought to t text me? Like, I blocked the last one. You didn't think that was an indication that I didn't want to talk to you? So then he starts messaging me and telling me how he misses me and all this other stuff, and I'm just like, okay, well, hmm. don't want to be the very bad news. I haven't thought about you. <laughs> um, So he's talking about how he still cares about me and then at some point he tells me he wants to send me flowers and he asked me for my address and I'm like I'm not giving you my address I don't even know you and then he was just like I need you to be open with me as I have been open to you mofo when have you been open with me was it when you asked me for money even though you've never met me or when you had time to go to parties but didn't have time to come to meet me you sound like a scammer or a catfisher. I don't know which one but you're one of the two I still go with scammer because he asked me for money but whatever so I'm just like are you serious right now? And then he told me something else and I'm just like, no, 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 no. You don't get to call me names and you're gaslighting. He, he accused me of controlling him. How am I controlling you? I didn't ask you for anything. I didn't tell you to do anything. In fact, I blocked your number so that I never had to speak to you again. You don't get to start messaging me and then demanding I tell you if I'm at work or what I've been doing or what my address is or trying to get me to answer the phone because you want to talk to me on the phone and then tell me I'm controlling you. I'm not controlling you. I'm controlling me. And me doesn't have to do any of those things. I was so heated. And then he kept trying to talk to me and then he was just like, I don't think I even want to meet you. And I was just like, okay. Even if I did meet you, I don't think that it would work out because you didn't trust me to begin with. Yeah, that's looking like a pretty smart idea based on the past experiences. And even now, you keep saying you're too busy in the pandemic or whatever, we can't meet. We can video chat, but you won't even do that. So just leave me alone. Like, I will just have to block you again. And it just seemed like that's so much work. I have to block you on two numbers. Are you gonna get a third number and start messaging me again? Please don't. Just say no, okay? Ugh. So I've been getting super, super frustrated with that. Um, I should go ahead and block him, but I think he finally got the hint and has left me alone. If he messages me one more time though, I am blocking him. Cause I shouldn't have to block you twice. Like, this is harassment, leave me alone. I didn't block you because I wanted to talk to you more. So, yeah, that was the little update I was going to give you. Oh my goodness, this cat just wants so much attention. Uh, just got home from work a little while ago and she just wants all the love in the world. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I, keep you, I will keep you updated on what goes on with that. Um, oh my gosh, so did I tell you guys that I was done with Olsen? Because I'm so not done with Olsen. I don't think I'll ever be done with Olsen. No matter how many times I say I'm done, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I don't even know what that means. I'm not done. I have been flirting my butt off, all right? And I was flirting so much last night that a coworker was giggling. And I didn't even think it was that much, but apparently it just sounded super bold the way it was coming out of my mouth. But then this shit was being all cocky about it. So, I mean, there's that. Cause he already knows. Well, I mean, I told him I adore him, but he knew before that. So. It is what it is, huh. but I'm super excited about something else from work and I'll tell you guys about that one at a later date. It's, it's not like super, super good news, but it's exciting for me because I'm me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Klinger and Olsen, that's what I've got going on right now. I know I said I was going to come up with a nickname for that other dude, but I heard and from a very reliable source that he has a girlfriend, so no need to even go there, right? We're not gonna waste the time and energy it takes to come up with a nickname. That's really all I've got. I'm um, still working a lot, like a metric fuck ton. So, eh, like I've had two days off in the past 31 days, maybe 32, I've lost count now. It's not a whole lot of days off, um, but it's by choice. I volunteered for this and actually my boss is still trying to get me to take more days off. It's not working out so well for him. Um, as long as I don't get sick, will be good. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the update about Klinger. 
and uh, hopefully he leaves me the hell alone telling me I'm controlling him. Whatever. Boy, bye. Everybody have a wonderful day. It is so bright here today. Like, it is so bright that I walked into a store with my sunglasses on. Walked into a store and uh, was still blinded by the sun coming through the window and had to like put my hand up and turn my head and I couldn't even find what I was looking for. That's how bright it is here. And it could just be that I'm so used to working overnight that the fact that there's no clouds in the sky is really messing with my eyes, but whatever. Um, so yeah, have a nice day, enjoy the weather, and this has been a true story.